is kind of nerve-wracking. It's like easier talking to 20,000 people than it is to 20. Um, I'm the host of the Alphabet Radio Show on KSCO. Sound like a radio guy. Nice to see you, Tyler. Kyle, written articles about all these guys right here. And uh, they're always uh, great, great fun to write about, and I've always loved it. Uh, but the show is, you know, the show is not about me. The show is about everybody else in this town that makes the show. It's not about me. I have nothing to do with it. Um, I just invite people. I had the idea about the radio show, but it started back before that. It started with the Sentinel when I was coaching uh, Harbor High Surf Team. Uh, the kids uh, were surfing their asses off. Excuse me. And there was another contest here by, by Red Bull was here. There was the game. You guys remember the game? They were surfing their butt off. And in the paper was like girls JV tennis. Nothing goes girls, girls tennis, but these kids need to be in the paper. So I called the Sentinel and they go, oh, you need to, uh, yeah, so you need to have something to write about surfing. They go, yeah, right. It's a good idea. This is back in 19, I don't know, early 2000, I think it was. And they, so they went to Peter Mel, and Peter Mel's going, oh, no, I don't want to do that. And Wingnut, no, 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 I don't want to do that. And probably a bunch of other guys, oh, I want to do that. And they came back to me, and they go, do you have any writing experience? And I go, well, I have a degree in English literature from Oxford. <laughs> and they go, you're our guy. I go, oh, wait a minute, no, no, no. I have a degree in English literature from Oxford University. That's Shakespeare. That is the furthest. That's in that far, that's in that white line over there, away from Shakespeare, which is over here. So they go, no, you're in. So I started writing about surf. And before I, before I signed it in with them, I said, listen, I know nothing about shortboarding. So you have to find someone else to write about shortboarding because I know nothing about it. So they didn't pay attention to that. So I started writing. The beauty of when I got to write for the Sentinel and writing all these articles was the people I got to meet. I got to meet people and sit down with people that n no one else got to sit down and talk to. You know, I spent two days with Johnny Rice, spent two days with Doug Hout, spend a couple of days with Rich Novak, right? And you get into their homes, you get into their minds and talk about all, you just, I got to meet people that I would not normally got, I would never have met. And it wasn't about me, it was, what, it was their accomplishments, it's what Doug Hout has done, it's what Tyler Fox has done, it's what T Kyle Tiemann's done. Uh, all these guys, I mean, you can take from KSC radio, ra just KSCO alone, a mile radius, and you have enough guests for a radio show for a year. This town is unbelievably filled with, with surfers and skaters. In this town, you're born with a surfboard in one hand and a skateboard in the other. And I wasn't even born here, and I figured that out. And so the, the Sentinel, long story short, the Sentinel thing, they call me out and they go, Neil, they're, uh, we're not sending any newspapers, and your articles got to go. So I'm like, God darn it. I was having so much fun. So we've all driven by KSCO a million times to check the surf. East side, west side, we've all driven by KSCO a gajillion times. So I'm like, I'm driving by one day, I went, Whoa. pulled in, I go, went in there, saw Rose, I go, Rose, we need to do a surf, you need to do a surf show for, safe, for surfing and skateboarding. They go, absolutely not, we hate sports. <laughs> so I talked him into it, figured it out, talked him into it, called it off the lip, and my original co-host was going to be Jimbo Phillips. And uh, TC, my co-host right now, uh, who's like great with the microphone, there's no one better on the microphone than Terry Campion. He's the best. But he didn't want to do it. He's too busy. So I'm like, okay, 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 I get Jimbo Phillips. Jimbo Phillips, well-known skater. You know, it's it's going to be perfect. So Jimbo Phillips agreed to do it. So we get me and Jimbo and TC. TC is going to do this. He's going to be a substitute if one of us is sick or traveling or whatever. So TC and his TC and his, his Jimbo and we're, we're there with Rosie and we're practicing our first week. We're pra we get ready to prep and practice. So TC and I just back and forth, just yak, 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 yak. And we went on there. We only we weren't even. We were just practicing. We only. And Jimbo's like, oh, Jimbo, say something. Jimbo went. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! So Jimbo's like, so like Jimbo started talking a little bit, but he, he like, as soon as we were done, he left. And two seconds later, I get a text. Neil, I can't do it. <laughs> I said, I froze. There's no way I can do this. I said, okay, Jimbo, here's the deal. And te but meanwhile, on the other, right as Jimbo t texted me, TC's going, I'm in. I got to do this. Got the microphone, and he's the TC is just addicted to the microphone. So I said, okay, Jimbo, if you leave. 
I'll let you out of your contract, which we had no contract, but you have to do me a logo. Next thing, you know, it came like the next day. It's this great logo from Jimbo Phillips. But the radio show is not about me. The radio show is about the Tyler Foxes of the world and all these great surfers and the Cab Steve Caballeros and God knows how many guests I've had on the show. I mean, just the surf community comes in there, and it's way better than a newspaper. Because when I wrote for the newspaper, if I, wrote, if I did an article on Tyler, I could get three quotes on Tyler. If I did an article on Kyle, three quotes. With on the radio, I get to, they get to a whole hour of them talking. And what I figured out with the radio show is we, were, we are actually recording all the surf, or trying to, all the surf and skate history of Santa Cruz and beyond. So that's when I think at the same time the Surf Channel, which is based in Southern California, called me and said, we'd like to have your show be a part of our network. I'm like, Surf Channel? Who the hell are you, right? And I figured out the Surf Channel is not really a TV station. It's a, it's a social media site that has a lot of people that are attached to it. So then uh, I said, okay, sure. So next thing you know, I'm on the Surf Channel, and my audience got 10 times as big. And the only reason that they came to Santa Cruz is to my show is because, not because of me, because I suck at the radio. I'm no good at it. I mean, Peter Mel goes, Neil, it's, you're so bad, you're good. <laughs> and he's right. You know, I'm terrible at it. TC's really good at it. But it's just the fact that we have that, the Surf Channel figured out that Santa Cruz we have a culture here that's like nowhere else in the world. First thing I say in the radio, you know what? I'm broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California, the goddamn surf capital, surf and skate pap capital of the world, right here. And that's the reason Surf Channel showed up because this, you guys have they don't have it in Southern California, they don't have it in Brazil, they don't have it in South Africa. It's r his is where it happens right here. There is uh, so many people involved in the surf and skateboard community. Am I correct? You know, and like t look at Tyler, Santa Cruz waves. I mean, he just. He has enough material there for the next 25 years. You're never going to get it all in. It just it just keeps on. It's like a, it's like the Rolling Stones gathering moss going down a hill. It's incredible. Surf Channel signs a contract with Comcast. They sign a contract with DirecTV. And next thing you know, they, I get an email going, you guys are going to go on TV. You guys got to clean up. I go, huh. So the, next show, the show is going to go into 50 million homes, which is going to be great. <laughs> and oh my, we have to shave and we have to wear a college shirt. But uh, it's, it's, it's not about me. It's not about Terry Campion. It's about the Tyler Foxes of the world, the Carl Tumans of the world, uh, the Skin Dog, uh, Flea, all these guys. Even the, the Groms. I mean, the surf, surfing has changed so much. And I've, I've written about the good, the bad, and the ugly. But it all makes up the surf culture of this town. And it makes the radio show. It makes it special. And it's the only surf and skate show in the, in the world that's on the radio. And for everybody here, yeah, there's no other surf and skate show. And the, th the, the fact is, the skateboarding, when you look at the rating, because the shows are on YouTube, the skateboarding shows are about 10 times larger audience than the, than the surf shows. So for, uh, keep on skating. So um, I love having everyone. I've had a bunch of guys here on the, on the radio. and um, uh, Joey's been on, right? You came on. And Tyler's been on and Kyle's been on. It's been a lot of fun. So the radio is definitely... It's important to have the Groms in there, trying to get the kids in there, because the medium of radio is not going away. And most kids have never even seen a radio. Have you seen a radio? What's a radio, right there? <laughs> is that a radio? You've seen a radio? OK. You've seen an LP, right? So most kids haven't even seen a radio. So it's very important to keep the medium up. KSCO is quirky as KSCO is. It's quirky. It's a very important piece of this town. Like when the earthquake happened, what was working? KSCO. So uh, I'm going to give thanks to them, and I'm going to give thanks to all the surf and skate community. Again, it's not about me. It's about the surf culture, skate culture of this town, which has uh, afforded me to do this radio show. And I am having a blast doing it. T t t Tyler knows we've had a lot of fun doing a lot of crazy shows. But thanks for listening to my story tonight. And if you have any questions, let me know. <laughs> There's one. Okay. Neil. Yes, dear. I'm curious. You're still writing for the Sentinel. I do indeed. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Um, but I did enjoy How your column. How come they got me the surf column and kept yours? This is what I want to know. Uh, cycling <laughs> is a close second to uh, surfing around here. So I wanted to ask you, okay. I was curious, having just dabbled, if that, in surfing myself, 
can you comment on women's participation and do you find women for your show? I think it's important to have um, the mix of women on the show. There's as many as almost as many great women's stories as there are men's stories. In fact, last week's show that um, Jeff Clark came on with Griffin Guest, who's the no new um, sponsor for Mavericks, uh, Bianca Valenti, who won the Nell Scott Reef contest this year, great women surfer from Ocean Beach. She she was one of the first callers to call up and go, hey, where's the women's seat at Mavericks? And they're going to put one together. They're going to have a women's seat at Mavericks. And so I think it's um, important to include the women in surf contests like that because otherwise you eliminate half your audience. So I think there's a, there are... I will tell you, there's a lot of great women surfers in this town. And have you seen the numbers go up? I have seen that with women's uh, the women's shows, they are just as good as the men's shows. I mean, because we have big, we have depends who depends who it is, who's on the show. Do you know? I mean, the, the Bianca Valenti show. There was a lot of people who listened to that basically because that demographic came from San Francisco. So YouTube, they, they, they pro the Surf Channel, they know exactly who's calling, who's watching, who's listening. So, but for the like a show with Bianca Valenti on it, there was a lot of people listening to that show. Judy Oyama, who was a skateboarder, uh, skateboard racer, she was a huge show. So, there, so there's a lot of women's, there's a big women's presence in this, in, and it's very important to just keep trotting guys like him in there. I'd rather talk to women, you know, the girls come in, I've got to have her on the show than him. So it's important to have the, uh, it's important to have the girls on the show, the women on the show to represent along with the kids.